Greetings and welcome to my once again belated Wednesday ramblings. Yesterday uh, was a, a busy day. I managed to get quite a lot done, but then I focused on another project I needed to get completed by Friday and I lost track of timing. So by the time youth group and then the uh, Father's Heart prayer group last night met, I was uh, completely oblivious to the fact I'd forgotten to do today's the Wednesday ramblings. But this is the third week of the message series, The Law or the Spirit of the Law. It's slightly different this week because it has the story of James and John coming to Jesus, asking whether they can have the seats of honour in the kingdom. Jesus has just foretold his prophecy, the prophecy of his suffering, death and resurrection. And there's a vacuum, power vacuum that James and John see arising. And so they want to find ways of making sure that they're not left uh, as just part of the team, but they want to have places of honour. And when asked whether they can accept the baptism that uh, he must be baptised with, they said yes. It's interesting the other 10 were agitated by what had happened. I sometimes wonder whether it was more because of the fact that they hadn't thought to ask first that they were upset. But whatever is the point, that still comes back to this challenge that we have, do we live according to the law or the spirit of the law? As I've said over the weeks, we using as a backdrop to it as well, the question, are we fact people, faithful, available, contagious and teachable? And again, after Jesus has spent so much time talking to the disciples about what it means to be first in the kingdom of God, that is, to be a servant to all, the disciples are once again showing that while they're faithful and available and even contagious, they struggle to be teachable. They don't hear the fullness of what the message of salvation is really all about. And that's part of the challenge facing so many Christians in our world today. It's so much easier to believe that what the law says is the only way to behave. And the challenge to live the spirit of the law is really quite difficult. So as we celebrate this Sunday, which is the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we're being reminded by the letter to the Hebrews as well, that God's grace is something which is actually inviting us into, into seeing something much more than just responding to the word. It has to be a lived experience. That's what James was saying in the previous series when he spoke about pure, unspoilt religion. So I'd like to hope that as we prepare for this Sunday, we might actually recognise that being part of the kingdom is really, really, really that we be servant to all and not claim places of honour or look for respect. Rather, we look how to be the servant of all. Have a great week, and hopefully by next week, I'll have got my timings right and be able to do a Wednesday rambling on Wednesday.